is going on guys welcome back to another video now in this one I don't really have a specific topic or any place that I want to navigate this conversation towards I want to get some things that have been bottled up inside off my chest and off my mind and onto the screen because in real life I'll be honest I don't really have anybody that I could have a like-minded conversation with or anybody who is like me it feels like talking to a brick wall or we just cannot relate so I like to go on these platforms to seek like-minded individuals and really just open up the conversations that I want to open up that feel right and appropriate for me and then it just feels like a great release I just want to give you guys some behind the scenes of what is going on in my life I am getting baptized on the 10th or at least I think I am I'm not really sure I'm kind of indecisive about it up to this point because I thought Christianity was just one whole thing everybody just promotes the truth they're all on the same page but Satan has infiltrated religion if there's any children that want to come a little bit closer you're welcome to come up closer yeah, no You're offense to the adults, we would love to have some kids join us. And there's so many different branches, and people will just read the same Bible and completely split off into different branches that have nothing to do with Christianity, and it is so easy to get led astray. And when I came to Christianity, I was very naive. I just didn't know. I was trying to learn the truth. Trying to go down the correct path, and trust me, Satan will mess up literally everything. So these Mormons came to my house. They did edify me on God, and everything was smooth sailing until they tried to, like, force me in the direction of believing that Joseph Smith created the one true church and trying to drag me down that Mormonism path and I'm like no I believe in Christianity I believe in the Bible holy the original I believe in all of this obviously but Mormons believe and they stand on this truth that this guy named Joseph Smith when there was a huge religious revival when everybody was just trying these crazy religions and making things up Joseph Smith apparently walked into the woods and he was praying to God for wisdom and an angel approached him and told him that every single denomination every single church was false and he had the truth and everybody else was wrong but he was right and that just sounds like Satan and Adam and Eve no that's not what God said this is what God said follow me did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden and I was just really debating on it and I was thinking about it because they were like well you can't get baptized if you don't believe this is the one true church if you don't believe that this is the true church and every other Christian church is false no like I believe in Christianity like the real thing the original book I don't know what you call that what church you would go to nowadays because there's so many different ones but I believe in the truth somehow they believe this guy Joseph Smith came out of the blue and everybody else is wrong and he's right yeah I'm not putting all my faith and all my eggs into that basket that is ridiculous that is so foolish sure maybe I'd read the book and I would have it back to back with the Bible and I would kind of learn from that to learn more about Jesus Christ but when it comes to one true church and getting baptized and following their off-brand traditions that Joseph Smith came along and just made up out of the blue because some angel approached them. It's just ridiculous. It is foolish to me. I want to get baptized before they have the water blocked off with people with spears and these wicked people are fencing up the waters. Like I've been seeing people getting baptized and getting attacked. Christianity does get attacked. It does get mocked. It does get scoffed. And that is because God said if you are a friend of this world, you are an enemy to God. And a lot of people are friends of this world. And if you are a friend of God, well then you're going to be an enemy to this world. And that's just because you're walking morally correct. You set an example and you have the judgment of God upon you and people don't really want to be corrected they want to be a God of themselves they're used to being their own self gods they're used to sinning they're used to going out and lusting and doing all those crazy things like they don't want to submit to a God so when you have done that and you walk with the light you irritate those demons the world is really getting dark in China they have underground churches you can't even pick up a Bible in public and preach about it or you'll go to jail for three years that is how dark and wicked the world is getting literally they have underground churches and if you get caught you go to jail for three years or you get sent back to your country if you're not from there which is just ridiculous you can't even have a bible it's illegal and these people have memorized scriptures by heart china is five years ahead of the states maybe like two but the states most definitely wants to be as controlling as china is to their people and then canada will follow suit with the states and the whole world will be locked down in due time and i put my life on that i truly believe that but anyways when you come into christianity it is very hard to navigate the truth and that is because because first and foremost, it says in the end times that we will have itchy ears. We won't necessarily want to even hear the truth because God's word cuts like the sharpest sword. And a lot of people, they have itchy ears. They want to hear what's positive. They want to hear what's good. They want to hear what resonates with their soul, what resonates with them because they don't want to be convicted. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to change. And that's why you have these mega churches. That's why you have these churches that just breed entertainment. 
but they don't really necessarily step on the truth by force. A lot of people do have itchy ears, and if you had a true sound doctrine church, there wouldn't be a lot of members. God's word makes demons tremble. In the end, he said there would be a lot of signs of deception by false teachers, and we do have a lot of false teachers. Mormon, Jehovah Witness, all these branches of Christianity that came after the original Bible. This came out first, and then some man has the audacity after to try to come and say, no, that's all wrong. Like, that's what Satan is going to be doing. That is literally what the Antichrist is going to be doing in the end times. He's going to pretend to be like God. He's going to deceive everybody. That is his nature. I was just on the journey, as many Christians are, of just trying to navigate the truth and really just trying to abide by God's word. Even if it hurt me, even if I had a change, even if it was a slap in the face and it was a sin that I just wasn't willing to put down, I'm going to be obedient and I will listen. For God said, take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ and will deceive many. Well, that kind of sounds like Joseph Smith and that kind of sounds like these Jehovah Witnesses and all these mega churches and all these people who want to please the people with itchy ears. You see that a lot nowadays. Nobody really wants sound doctrine because it convicts you. It makes you want to change and change is good. I really pray and I really hope that everybody picks up one of these books because everything that is prophesied in this book is literally reigning true nowadays or you can see it happening or it has the potential to happen because this book instills morals. It instills disciplines and this program, this system, this matrix is so demonic. It is so sick. It is so wicked. It is so Seriously. twisted and the things that it programs and pushes on a day-to-day -day basis to your children, to your family is literally corrupting them to where all of these things that are prophesied are damn near gonna happen because there is a huge spiritual warfare going on and if you're not conscious or aware of this, you will just be an autopilot vessel who is overcome by the wickedness because this world truly is wicked. It is evil. The people who control this system, this matrix, the stuff that they program through TV and television shows and through music is absolutely demonic and the people who ain't conscious or aware they will be programmed by that dark energy and they will display those attributes and they will become that character that this program is pushing and you see it as time progresses. In the end it said for men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Hmm, you're definitely seeing that nowadays because evil will be considered as good and good will be considered as evil. These little ones need to be raised up in the Lord. These little ones need to be raised up in the knowledge of Jesus Christ because there's going to come a day when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus sir. Christ is Lord Thank Thank to the glory of the you. Father. Very, the Bible says that welcome. the Bible you says that men like are men and women are women. women. And men should dress like women not. and women should dress like men. This is sin. Traitors, hidey, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. And you see that nowadays. Like, people are chasing after lust, and they just can't break that cycle, and they are living in their flesh. They're overeating, they're overindulging, and they're lovers of pleasure, but not lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. Oh, yeah, every single rapper, every single person who is following this rapper or growing up on social media, they see themselves as their own God. They have huge egos. They're boosting themselves up. They're using the law of attraction, saying they are the greatest, they are the best, and they are walking in this fashion. Very crazy, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Now that is true. Everybody wants to be their own God, and that's why they disrespect and mock the Bible, because they don't want to submit to God and live by His principles, because He is the manufacturer of this world, and if you followed His principles, you would be living a great, fantastic life. Be filled with fulfillment, and you would enjoy yourself, and you would be made whole. You would feel whole in yourself, but people want to be their own God, and then they reap corruption, and they go off in these crazy past that just lead to self-destruction and they think it is the way but it never is the way and then once they're in these pits of despair they go and they blame God but in reality they turned away from God and followed Satan. This is the unfortunate side but this is what happens when you pick up your cross for Jesus and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution because you as a servant are no greater than your master. He went through the same thing and that is because you are following the proper way and the wickedness knows that and it knows it's going
going to hell, so it wants to drag you down that path. It wants to make you try to sin because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, wickedness in high places. It's the programs. It's the stuff they watch. It's what they are being fed on a day-to-day -day basis because they're so unconscious. They're so unaware of what they are being fed by the media that they themselves will turn wicked over time without even knowing it, and they will come after the people who are moral and just, and that's just what it is. These wicked people have no morals. They have no moral compass, and you see it nowadays. You have children in elementary sitting with half-naked men. These parents and these kids, they're gonna grow up with no limitations. They're gonna grow up with no guidelines. They will literally just not care at all. It is disgusting, and there's not gonna be no line that is gonna be drawn. It's just gonna be whatever goes, goes, and it's gonna get worse, and it's gonna get worse, and they're just gonna reap corruption, and this world is gonna be so disgustingly wicked, and the only thing that can really stop that is God. <laughs> Honestly, naturally, wickedness hates the good, so if you are following the good and you don't want to bow down to no wicked nature or go down with that program or let yourself be succumbed by such dirty, disgusting value and you actually have a moral compass for yourself, you will be attacked because these people, they have no guidelines. They have no dotted line. They just do whatever. I mean, you see it nowadays in these elementary schools where these half-naked men are sitting with kids reading them books, these transvestites, and it's only getting progressively worse. And down the line, it's only going to get worse and it's only going to get worse. And where do they draw the line? I don't think they do. I don't think they have a limit. Like, when is enough enough? They just cover it with the umbrella that we accept absolutely everything. We want everybody to be loved. We accept pedophiles. We accept whatever. We just want everybody to feel included and accepted and loved. Yeah, the world is going down a crazy path. But yes, in these times, I highly recommend that you get right with your Lord and Savior and you get your wisdom, discernment, and protection from Him and nobody else because in these times, everybody else is just going to be moralist and just absolutely corrupt because we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight against spirits. We fight against principalities. We fight against the darkness. And once you open up this book and you read into it, you have entered yourself into a spiritual warfare. Better than not knowing there is a spiritual warfare and just being consumed by the wickedness and so coming to the negative thoughts, the depression, the anxiety, and all those things, and just tapping into the program that they got set and just falling into that trap and that wickedness. God forgive me, I repent for all the times I followed the plan, but you said that I ain't too far gone. You remind me who I am. Less than I'm chosen, I'm prepped and I'm focused. My God's got a plan for me. Yeah. No weapon shall prosper. I'm more